Number sets. This concept appears quite frequently in IB Mass Studies exams and there are four different types of numbers that you need to know. So let's talk through them. They each have a letter. So we have N, Z, Q, and R. Let's talk through them one by one. So the N stands for natural numbers. Now these are the easiest. Natural numbers are just simply all positive integers starting from one. So all positive integers. Now an integer is just simply a whole number. So examples of natural numbers are one, two, five, 1,000, 250,000, etc., etc. So all whole, so by whole I mean integer positive numbers. So zero is not a natural number, either is negative two. They are not natural numbers. So that's the first one. Z, Z are integers. And you're probably wondering, well, didn't we just talk about integers for natural numbers? Well, integers are all integers this time, including zero and negative. So all integers, including zero and negatives. So examples include negative 10, negative 1000. It also includes 2, 1,000, 240,000. And you could see here, and this is a mathematical term, n is actually a subset of z. So if we do have natural numbers, they are actually also integers. Okay, let's talk about q now. q stands for rational numbers. as opposed to irrational numbers, which we won't cover uh, in this key concept video. However, rational numbers, the definition of a rational number is the number can be written as a ratio. So examples of a rational number, well, Two is a rational number because two can be written as two on one. So any integer or natural numbers are all rational numbers. They're both subsets. But other examples are 12 on 13, let's say, or one on four. These are all written as a ratio or a fraction. So any number that can be, um, that say, stops at a couple of decimal points, so for example, 0 0.002, well, that can be written as a rational number. That we could multiply this, uh, sorry, we could, yeah, we could multiply it by 2, 0 0.004 over 2, and all of a sudden we have this as a fraction. Now, finally, R stands for real numbers, as opposed to unreal numbers. And real numbers are any number between negative infinity and infinity. Now, in the IB Mass Studies uh, syllabus, you won't encounter any numbers that aren't real numbers. So any number that you see in your paper will be a real number. But the question that you need to think about is just because it's a real number, is it also a rational number? Is it also an integer? And is it also a natural number? The hardest one to determine is between R and Q. So for ex I'll give you a couple examples of numbers that, are, that um, are real numbers but not rational numbers. The two main ones that you will see are surds. So for example, a square root of a number that isn't a squared number. So square root two, square root five, square root seven. These are all real numbers. They can't be written as a ratio. And the other quite famous number uh, that is a real number but not a rational number is pi. So pi cannot be written um, as a ratio. Uh, pi never ends. So pi is an example of a real number but not a rational number. So here's the focus area that you need to think about. Can the number be written as a fraction or a ratio? 
and the two main types that are real numbers but not rational numbers are surds and a number like pi. And that is the key concept, key concept video for number sets.